Hi, this is Kim with PerryandKim.com. I got some great feedback on a couple other videos I've done about using Be Cool, and it's come to my attention today, lately, recently, that Amazon is getting a little more crazy than usual with the price deactivations. So I dug into Be Cool today and worked on my delisted listings. Do you know what those are? Those are the listings that get stuck in limbo because Amazon deactivated them. And when you try to reactivate them, Be Cool prices them outside of the parameters that Amazon thinks they should be, and they get deactivated again before you can get into Be Cool and fix them. Be Cool has rolled out a feature that lets you see these delisted items, because normally Be Cool only sees the items that are active in Amazon um, and out of stock in stock. But when they become deactivated by Amazon, they become invisible to Be Cool. And so Be Cool has rolled out the delisted listings where they keep track of them in the background. And you can now get into Be Cool and change your mins and maxes even when an item is deactivated on Amazon. This is a really cool feature. You needed this. People have been begging for this and they did it. So let's see how to use it. I have in another tab that you can't see my list of, uh, I went to Seller Central, Pricing, fix price alerts and I have a list of some of my ASINs that are currently deactivated. Since I already did it this morning most of these have been fixed now so let's just pretend that I still have some problems. You can search either by ASIN or by SKU. So go over to your price alerts and grab an ASIN for one of your items that's been deactivated. We'll just pretend that this is one in my current problems. I would put it up here and search and then be cool will bring me that listing did you notice I had 70,000 de delisted listings here don't panic about that that doesn't mean that that's all in active inventory most of those SKUs are long gone these are just um, I don't even know where they're pulling the list it's stuff that's not active on Amazon but for some reason be cool has it in their history right now I only have five potential high pricing errors in Seller Central. This is not one of them, but we're going to pretend it is. So we searched in ASIN. We brought this up. If this was one of the problems, I would probably see a crazy high price here in my Max. The ones I fixed this morning, um, for example, I had some kids t-shirts that were that had a max price of $150, $200. That's never going to happen, right? For some reason, a couple of us, me and some other sellers out there, had our maxes set really, really high on these items, and we managed to chase each other way up to where Amazon knew it wasn't going to happen. That's what triggers this. There are other triggers, too. Sometimes um, Amazon will pick up lower prices from other platforms, walmart.com. I've heard even eBay can trigger it. If Amazon thinks that the buy box price is not competitive, they will deactivate listings that their algorithm believes to be unreasonably high or unreasonably low. And then that just leaves the players that Amazon wants in the game. So some of my items were priced unreasonably high. Out of about 25 listings that I had deactivated this morning in Amazon, I found 20 that needed fixing genuinely. I found five that should not be problems. Anyways, what you would do is get in here, change your min, change your max, do whatever you need to do. I'm just going to play with this one because it's an old listing. It doesn't matter. Hit the save button. And then when you have Be Cool operating within parameters that you think Amazon will approve of, then come over to Amazon and change your list price. Set your mins and maxes on Amazon much, much broader than you set them on Be Cool. We tend to set all of our mins at $7, all of our maxes at $300, because we have very, very few SKUs that fall outside of that on either end of that that guide and then be cool keeps them within the guidelines that we've set on Amazon and in that case all we have to worry about is Amazon going out and finding better prices somewhere else and that does happen this is just a piece of maintaining your inventory you want to check this maybe daily maybe weekly but you definitely want to keep an eye on your price alerts and keep all your inventory for sale so now you know how to fix it if you have items that got stuck in limbo between be cool and seller central Go check your listings. Seller Central, um, what is it called? Seller Central Pricing Fixed Price Alerts. And to get to this, this screen and be cool, you're going to go to Manage Listings. 
And then when you're looking at your listings, pull down and you don't want to see active or inactive. You want to see delisted. That'll get you the full list. And then you can search those SKUs or ASINs one at a time, tweak them, save them. And then when you fix them in Seller Central, they should stay fixed. Enjoy. Happy pricing.